Our gospel reading this morning comes from St John's Gospel, chapter 10, beginning at verse 10. Jesus said, very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used his figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. One of the great joys and privileges of my ministry as a bishop is the opportunity to visit different communities each week, to share in worship and to reflect on the scriptures. Today I was supposed to be with the people of North Nibley in St Martin's Church. It was not to be. Our churches remain physically closed as together we fight this virus as we work to stop its spread and to keep each other safe. Instead, here I am sitting at home in my living room talking to you in yours. I wonder if you've opened your front door this morning. I don't know about you, but I find on the odd occasion when the doorbell rings, I realise the door is still firmly locked and I have to search for the key while the delivery driver retreats from coming into too close contact. My front doors have become so significant. Sometimes that which we close behind us in relief, entering a, a place of safety when we come in from work or shopping or our allotted daily exercise, especially so I'm sure for you if you are a key worker. Thank you. Thank you for all you are doing. Other times it's an obstacle over which those we long to see cannot pass. Helen and I are really missing our eldest daughter. She's serving as a police officer in Wales. You will have those that you miss so much also. Yet other times our doors are barriers over which we cannot pass to go and see the people we long to see, to do the things we want to do. We're so used to simply passing through. Like us, Jesus and his hearers knew that doors mattered. The door, the gate to the sheepfold we've just read about, was to keep thieves and bandits, those who like COVID-19 today would take life and destroy life out, to keep the sheep safe. The very life itself of the sheep depended on it, depended on the gate, the door being strong and being opened and being closed when needed. And Jesus goes on to say, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. Come in and be safe and go out and find pasture. You know, the most important thing that I know about God, the most important thing that there is to know about God, is that God loves us. But that's not a soppy love. God's love for us is robust, it's real, it's tough as well as tender. God's love for us is the love that we see in Jesus, who comes to live among us, who dies on the cross and who rises victorious from the grave, overcoming darkness to bring life. Jesus dies for us. Jesus lives for us. We are called into the sheepfold by name. We are called and we are kept safe. That's what God wants for us. God wants us to be safe. But there is more. God wants us not to be afraid. 
if there is one verse of scripture that we know really well in this diocese, it's this from the very end of our reading this morning in verse 10, where Jesus says, the thief comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. I come that they may have life. The invitation from Jesus to us, to you, to me, is always to life abundant overflowing life life in all its fullness that's what god wants for us that's why god loves us god loves us to keep us safe and to set us free to live in these days we've been asked to practice physical distancing and rightly so but as christians we know that we are never isolated I am sure, writes Paul in Romans 8, I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor COVID-19, we might add, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Do not be afraid. That love encompasses, overcomes the darkness, even this darkness, even the darkness of our grief and our mourning. That's what the message of Easter is all about, that our hope and our confidence can be in Christ. Stay safe, do not be afraid. And then one more key thing, did you notice? Whoever enters by me, says Jesus, will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. Go out? Well, we can't go out. Well, physically, for most of us, no, we can't. But neither are we to close our eyes and our hearts to the needs of our communities and our world. The church is called to look out, to look through our doors, to witness to the love of Christ through our love and our service to others. And I've seen that in this time, in acts of love and care, seen it through our dust and partnership to feed the 5,000. I've seen it through parishes and communities looking out to each other. Through looking out, even in these days, to the needs of the poorest, through looking out to those in need, through looking out to those in need in other lands, we demonstrate, we show the love of God, and we do what Jesus commands us to do. That's rich pasture for us to feed on. That's pasture that will nourish us and the church of which we're a part. Rich food that gives abundant life. It's what Jesus asks of us, and it's what he enables. So thank you for letting me into your home this morning, over the threshold of your front door. As you look at that door today, will you, I wonder, remember these words of Jesus? I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, will come in and will go out and will find pasture. I have come, says Jesus, that you may have life and have it abundantly. May the Lord preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen.